Waziri wa Usalama wa Taifa Profesa Kethure Kendeki amesema kiongozi wa kanisa la Good News International Paul Mackenzie Ntenge aliajiri wahalifu waliojihami kuwaua wafuasi wake waliopania kutoweka kutoka msito wa Ekari 800 wa Shakahola. Waziri Kithure Kendeki alisema Mackenzie aliwaambia wafuasi wake kwamba Yesu atarejea duniani mwezi Juni mwaka 2024 na kwamba wanapaswa kuwa wamefariki kufikia wakati huu. Kuningana na kindiki wafosi hao waliuawa kwa kunyongwa au kupigwa kwa vifaa buto. Eri Mchuma Odim anasimulia zaidi. <coughs> Waziri wa Usalama wa Taifa Kithure Kindiki alitaarifu kamati ya seneti inayochunguza kusambaa kwa mashirika ya kidini kwamba wahalifu waliokodiwa na muhubiri tata Paul Mtenge Makenzi waliagizwa kumuua mfuasi yoyote atakaye jaribu kuturuka. Mr. Mackenzie had convinced his followers that the world would end in June next month, Mr. Chairman. Some of Mr. Mackenzie's victims, some of them would change their mind along the way. What did he do? He had employed vicious armed men who would supervise the starvation to death and in the event somebody would change their mind they would be killed using blunt objects by bare hands others were strangled using wires and other apparatus kinaya ni kwamba wahalifu hao walio jihami walikula chakula mara tatu kwa siku kila siku ya wiki but in the process they are just cooking on the graveside there are all manner of uh, food in fact uh, inside one structure we found a very organized menu kindiki aliambia kamati hiyo iliyoongozwa na dance room katana kwamba makenzi alikuwa msiri wa mambo yake kwani aliepuka matumizi ya teknolojia na badala yake akapendelea kulipwa pesa taslimu he must have been backing through other people his accounts are empty So the M-Pesa transactions are you know 100 shillings from a, a radicalized follower 200 shillings 50 shillings when it uh, accumulates to 50,000 he withdraws Kwenye ripoti yake waziri Kindiki alifichua kwamba kuna makaburi kumi zaidi ya halaiki ambayo hayajafuchuliwa Mili 241 imefuchuliwa katika msitu wa Shakahola kufikia sasa kwa mujibu wa kindiki vifo hivyo vilitokea mnamo mwezi machi mwaka huu we should have done things better and differently includes the NIS ripoti hiyo imebaini kwamba waathiriwa wengi wa Shakahola walitoka kaunti zilizo mbali na pwani we we'll make sure the measures we put in place outlive this administration because there are some people who have pretended that they know God more than any other person. Mr. Mackenzie should not be treated as a human being as I said. But he must be preserved to face justice and to help us in deterring this from happening. That the minister today has said action will be taken against uh, any person who will have been found to have been wanting wakati huo huo upasuaji wa meli ya waathiriwa wa maafa ya msitu Shakahola utaendelea siku ya Jumatatu ili kulipa kundi linalotekeleza upasuaji huo mapumziko is unable to identify them physically so we go to scientific of, of uh, identification which is now dna Irene Mchuma Odem Darubini